Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We're talking club path today. So we're talking the, the direction the head or the center of gravity, the club head is traveling as it hits the ball. Um, I've talked in other videos about trying to make sure you understand where the head is in relationship to your hand plane. I'm gonna give you a simple drill to try and feel this a bit more in your own time. Now the weather's changing, maybe do it in the house, those kind of things. Um, let's get stuck in. So let's talk club path. Biggest common problem we see in golf, I mean there's many, but one of the biggest ones is what people call the over the top, the swinging to the left the leftward path of the club as it hits the ball. Um, look, I want to give you a simple drill to try and fix that. I've done this a lot in other videos and I've talked about a certain way of trying to control it and I do it with my students and it works really well. And the way I get people to control it is not to think flat or steep, which can have zero effect on actual path of the club as it hits the ball. Uh, I get them to try and understand where the head of the club is coming down in relationship to the path of the hands. Now look, that sounds really complicated, I know. I'm gonna put a link to the video where I explain this a bit more in this video, kind of around this area, um, to try and help you. So you can go away and watch that one and then come back to this if you're not sure. But for those of you who watch my videos will understand how I've talked about trying to get the head of the club, the CG, underneath the path of your hands to make sure the club is always hitting more out to the ball. So most common move for people is they rotate the club this way. So even though their hands might feel like they're coming from behind them, as soon as the head gets above the hand path, it's very hard not to swing to the left unless they start doing some really funky things with the hand or with their body, trying to straighten things up anywhere near down by the ball, which is nearly impossible when the club's moving with the forces and the speed it's moving at down there. So look, simple drill. Um, I want you to take two clubs. So I've just got two six signs here. One's a seven, one's a six. I'm just going to grab them with my left hand. I'm just grabbing them together. I don't care where the faces are particular, uh, particularly. Right hand's going behind my back. And all I'm going to do is take the clubs up over my, left over my right shoulder. Okay, now what I'm going to do up there is I'm going to stop for two seconds. One, two, and I can feel the club wants to literally just drop behind me. So I feel from here that the club just wants to drop this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the club up to the top, stop for two seconds, let the club drop slightly, and then swing it down to where my imaginary ball was. Now, I don't want the clubs hitting the ground, so don't try and hit the mat, don't try and hit a ball. Just hover the clubs, you know, three, four inches off the ground. One hand, two heavy clubs contacting with the ground. A, the clubs are gonna to smash together. B, not so good for your arms. Um, so two, uh, two clubs, hands on, just holding midway down the grips near the bottom. I'm gonna take them up to the top. Stop for two seconds, I can feel it pulling. It wants to drop that way, and then as it drops, I'm just going to start pulling my hands down. And what happens is the clubs will just flop out. They'll just spin out towards my imaginary ball down at the bottom. And it's that movement, if you can learn how to feel it, that will fix your over-the-top action. So the club going up to the top, going this way to come down. We need the club getting up to the top head moving down below the path of your hands to then spin out to the ball. If you can get the feeling of that movement near the top, that transition, that very slight feeling that the club head just literally just falls back behind you, your club path days, or certainly struggling with club path, will completely, completely change. This is no lie. I mean, people who follow me on Facebook, and whatever, you'll see the results. I've had people swinging nine ten across the ball out to in nine degrees across which is a lot so if you think zero is straight plus numbers would be in to out minus numbers out to in so what normal people think of slice kind of you can pull it but slice spins you can even draw it from there but anyway slice spin so left to right is your feeling so what you don't want to do hitting across the over the top i've had people go from 10 across to actually 10 inside which is slightly too much i've moved them too much but the fact that you can show them both sides of the story really opens their minds up in how they actually can control the path of the head as it strikes the ball when they move away from thinking flat or upright. Because anyone who watches my videos, I can swing very flat as people would call it. Drop, move the head above the hand path and I'm now hitting out to in. And I can think what, swing what people call very steep. But as I come down, if I drop the head Below my hand path, I can still hit from the inside, getting away from those 2D kind of 
visualizations of the golf swing and thinking about it more of a three-dimensional real action what it is so up to the top let that head drop below your hand plane your club path days with drivers irons doesn't matter what it is will completely change a simple drill practice it let me know if it helps be careful with it two clubs together quite heavy make sure you can handle two clubs make sure you're strong enough to do it maybe just get a bit of momentum going first and feel how the club wants to just drop and then spin at the bottom and try and work that into your normal practice regime you'll fix it let me know, post comments down below, and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.